Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I asked you guys if you're interested in seeing more anime related content on my channel again and a lot of you said yes, do so. So I thought of introducing the subject with making an anime recommendation video today. This video won't be about the popular anime most of you will already know like Death Note, Black Butler, Attack on Titan or Boku no Hero Academia. I want to show you today three hidden treasures that don't have a huge fanbase so far and hopefully you might like. So the first one on my list is called Watamoto, which is standing for a much longer Japanese title I can't pronounce for heaven's sake. I really tried it, please believe me that, but I failed every time. They ask you how you are, you just... So I'm sorry, but here's the English version of the title. No matter how you look at it, it's your fault, I'm not popular. And this sums up pretty much the whole plot of that anime. It's about a 15 years old girl called Tomoko Kuroki that want to gain some popularity at school. Sadly, she's really clumsy and most of her actions turn out very awkward in the end. Since it's a slice of life anime, there doesn't happen a big action, you know, but if you're looking for some adorable entertainment, this is absolutely perfect for you then. And besides, I love the opening and I adore the artwork, it's pretty cute. Number 2. Angels of Death if you're the same like me, wishing so hard for a creepypasta anime series to become true, then Angels of Death will probably make you happy. Zack Foster reminded me so much of our favorite killer Jeff right after he was stepping into the scenery. Together with Rachel Gardner, a little girl that almost looks like an angel, he tries to get out of a mysterious building the two were stuck in for quite some time. On each floor is waiting another enemy for them who's not only challenging the two but also the promise they made each other. I like this one especially because of the great plot twist and the awesome character design. As I said before, Zack is probably the one anime guy who's sharing the most similarities with Jeff. And if you're a fan of him, then Angels of Death is definitely worth a look. And number 3, and the last one for today, Shingeki no Bahamut. This one is based on a simple mobile game, but it turned out being amazing. Basically, it's about this all-time fight between heaven against hell, good against evil, angels against demons, and somewhere in the middle are we humans. Yay! <laughs> but the interesting thing about this one is that all parties have to confront an enemy they can only defeat together. And this one has also some great character design, especially Lucifer and his brother Azazel are so freaking beautiful. This anime has a great mixture of humor, tragic and action. It's great. Please let me know what you think after giving this one a chance. And here we are, so I hope you were able to enjoy this one. As I said at the beginning, I really want to make some more anime related content on this channel again. That doesn't mean that I will quit making creepypasta content, not at all, but I want to share here some more interests of mine and I very hope that you will be fine with that. Well anyway, I'm really looking forward to all upcoming projects in the future and please stay safe and be kind to yourself. Bye!